Okay, here's another example. Uh, evaluating the indefinite integral. Um, I like this one because it looks weird. Uh, they put the dx on top, which might confuse some. <clears throat> you can just uh, rewrite that. Oh, my integral signs are so horrible. I have 1 over x to the 4th over 3, and I can put the dx out in front. Okay, and then um, I wouldn't even uh, want to take the, the integral of this looking like that, so I would put the x on top, so it's negative 4 over 3 dx. Now let's do the antiderivative. To do the antiderivative, we must, whoops, that shouldn't be over 4. Uh, to do the antiderivative, we're going to add 1 to the top and then divide it by a, our result. So, see, if we add 1, that would be adding 3 over 3 because we have to have the common denominator. And then we would divide that by whatever we get. Um, so what would we get? Let's see. We have x to the negative one-third, and we're going to divide that by negative one-third, which is the same as multiplying um, by the reciprocal. Uh, so you could have just written 3x to the negative one-third. And that would be our answer, but let's go ahead and get rid of the negative exponents. would be 3 over x. Let's see, that would be to the third, uh, third root of x. Oh, and I almost forgot my plus C. Gotta have plus C.